The wastewater system in your RV can be described as two separate systems. A gray water system, which consists of the drain lines and holding tank for wastewater from the sinks and tub. There is also a black water system, which includes the holding tank and drain for toilet wastes. As a general rule, sinks are plumbed to the gray water system, but in some cases they may be plumbed to the black water tank. At times, the rocking movement of the RV while driving may empty the drain traps of their water and allow odors from the gray water tank to enter the RV. Residue in the drain water lines can also produce odors. To combat gray water holding tank odors, an RV-approved deodorizing agent should be used. Each tank has a separate drain line and dump valve, which permits dumping tanks individually or together. Each tank should be emptied only at dump stations designated for this purpose. It is very important that you keep enough water in the black water tank to cover the bottom to prevent hardening of any waste residue that may remain. So whenever possible, refrain from dumping the black water tank until it is three quarters full. Check the tank level on your monitor panel. If necessary, fill the tank to the three quarter mark with additional water before draining. Some models are equipped with a flush system for this purpose. Never put anything in the holding tanks other than normal drain water, body waste, and biodegradable products. No paper wrappers, gum, cigarettes, etc., no matter how small, should ever be placed into either the gray or black tanks. That could cause damage to your plumbing system and or tanks. A tip worth mentioning is to use a tank flush kit from time to time. If you do, you'll keep the in-tank sensors clean, which helps prevent false readings on your monitor panel. For the black tank flush, hook the water line into the connection, open the black tank termination valve, and turn on the water. If you have two black tanks, there will be two separate water line hookups. 